you know, there's one, one other type of guy that just oh, comes yeah. to mind. I, I just kind of discerned this the other day. I started calling him the emotionally available, unavailable guy. I don't know if you've come across this, but this is a guy who's touchy feely, good with emotions, cares, sensitive, can talk to you. Uh, kind of the kind of guy that often women struggle to find, right? Where they're like, I want a guy that just kind of gets me and can read me and is on my level and understands and can talk emotions. And they're like, wow, this guy's really cool. The challenge is, He's emotionally available, but he's not really available to be in a relationship. And he doesn't maybe know that, or you don't know that. So you might have had this experience. Um, I'm just kind of throwing it out there in case anyone has, or in case they can kind of track this for the future, that the way that someone connects with their heart to you is like a different thing than are they available for a long-term partnership. And they may need that articulated. Sometimes really emotionally available guys don't have their stuff together in a way that allows them to be available to actually be in a committed partnership with you, right? They're sort of running around doing a lot of relating with women, but maybe their kind of foundation, their career, their mission is not really on, on, on song, or maybe it is, but that can be really confusing, I think, to women, because they're like, he connected with me in a way that no man ever has. And here's the problem, he's not available for partnership. So that's really annoying for you, but you might want to be with the reality of it rather than invest and get badly hurt. That is so true. And those are the guys that we get hooked on, right? Because it's right, just so totally. Incredible. Yeah, a yeah, lot of times. To to, yeah. like, wow. And particularly, uh, uh, I think you're most vulnerable to this if you've been with not that, right? So if you've had a bad experience with a guy that you just was shut down, couldn't connect with you, couldn't be in his heart, couldn't deal with you and your emotions, and then you, so you've had that bad experience, then sometimes the pendulum swings, right? Where you go the other way and you're like, God, this guy, he's so available, he's so easy, blah, blah, blah. and you might just be missing the, Hmm, what's he actually available for? What's he actually available for? And that's totally. such a powerful question. And I would ask that question more than once. I would ask it as upfront as you can, and I would keep asking it as you get more information and inviting him to reflect to you what his experience is and how it's developing. Because sometimes as guys, we're not good at noticing, particularly if you're the kind of guy that thinks of yourself as a good partner, and you kind of are, right? You've got a lot that you would bring to a partnership, but this isn't the time. So the right... The, the the right guy at the wrong time isn't the right guy. He's the wrong guy. And that, I think, can be hard for people. If they're like, well, he'd be a great dad. He'd be a great provider. He'd be a great husband. He'd be, everyone loves him. But it's like, if he's not in the stage of life or his masculine development where he's available for partnership, that's hard, but he's not the right guy. Maybe he will be a year down the line. Maybe you let it go and something else comes back in. That's possible. But you can't make these things what they're not. you know. And you can't make a guy available for something that he's not. That just It just doesn't work in my experience. Yes. Oh, it's just total like recipe for heartbreak. We talked about that in our last live yeah, show. Yeah. Process, right? Yeah. Yep. And a lot of times, just like you said, I find that a lot of men with this the category you're talking about, the unavailable, available, it's, it's so good. There's I know so many guys like that. It's crazy. Um, they a lot of times they can be so open and emotionally available with yes. because they're not available, because right. they're married. <laughs> right. Because they're That's stuck on someone well. else or they're not they're not available. So it so at a deep kind of core level there isn't really a risk of truth no exactly yeah.